a GPU on a Mac, is it worth it? How's it going guys? So recently I picked up a Razer Chroma X uh, eGPU enclosure and uh, been been wanting to try one out on my MacBook Pro 2017. It's a 13 inch touch bar. It had the i5 and of course the Intel Iris graphics in it. But uh, it's always been really slow on rendering and stuff. I know I have all these others but sometimes I do use it and when I'm in, in, the, in the other room stuff. So I picked up an eGPU, which of course is a Razer Chroma, and I've been also been hearing great things about the 50, the AMD Radeon 5700 XT. Uh, found one on sale, picked it up, and like I said, I, I've got the Vega 64s in my Hackintosh here. But uh, one, like I said, I, I just wanted to see if it truly made a difference on using it with a MacBook Pro. I also tested it with my MacBook Pro i9 Vega 20. And I'm not even going to include the results for that because on the Vega 20 i9, it did not make much of a difference at all. So it wasn't even worth it hooking it up to you, of course. And again, you know, that's just basic knowledge, you know, with a built-in graphics card that they have, the AMD 20 in the 15-inch uh, the, uh, uh, i9. So basing this one on the MacBook Pro 2017 i5, 13-inch touch bar, of course, the Intel graphics. Uh, as you know, I, I do a lot of tests, but uh, one of the main testings that people use is, of course, uh, Bruce X. For for example, you know, I've only was able to test this with the external GPU of 10.15.1, so we're going to base everything off of 10.15.1 with FCPX 10.4.7. So, the uh, just using the standard MacBook Pro, it done it in a minute and 30 seconds. Now then, when hooked up to the IG, I'm sorry, the eGPU, the uh, i5 done it in a 14 seconds, nearly 15 seconds. So great improvement there. Uh, one of the other videos is, of course, the one on my daughter's page called Christmas Eve. I have had it never to actually complete without waiting all night on the MacBook Pro i5. I mean, I, I consider it timed out because it never ran. However, with the, the eGPU, it actually ran in one hour, 14 minutes. Now, one video that I've tested through just about every release is a video I've done called Test. It has a bunch of different effects in it, so forth and so on. It's about a six and a half minute video. And again, on the MacBook Pro 2017 i5, it would never run. I mean, all night, it never would have completed. So, with the eGPU, it actually done it in 10 minutes and 43 seconds. So again, great improvements with this. Uh, one of the videos that's on my YouTube page is called Morning Fog. You can look it up on there. It's about a three to four minute video. But uh, again, the, the MacBook Pro 2017 i5 would not even run it. I think it may have run it once, but it took it like a day, day and a half. So I consider that timed out. With the eGPU, it actually ran in six minutes and 50 seconds. Uh, one of the uh, other videos that's on my uh, YouTube page is called uh, Quail Creek Drive Airtime. The, just using the MacBook Pro itself, it done it in four minutes and 52 seconds. With the eGPU, it done it in three minutes and 22 seconds. So it cut off a little over a minute and a half. Not a lot, but still enough, you know, to make it worth it. Uh, there's one other video on my page called Quail Creek Copper Hill. The MacBook Pro by itself done it in two minutes and 45 seconds. With the eGPU, it done it in a minute and 55 seconds. So again, about a gain of a minute. Now then, when you go hop over to the MacBook Pro Vega, just, just to show you the difference, 10.15.1, again, this is the i9 Vega, with uh, the Vega 20, of course. It would do it in 21 seconds. With the eGPU hooked up to it, it actually dropped it to 17 seconds. The test video, again, that I t uh, talked to you about, the standard MacBook Pro actually did it in four minutes and 37 seconds. 
with the eGPU, it done in 429. So not a great big difference. Christmas Eve, which I have discussed, it, is it on my uh, daughter's page? The i9 Vega done in 29 minutes, 21 seconds. With the eGPU, however, it done it in 30 minutes. So I actually lost some time. If you got an older MacBook Pro, especially a 13 with the integrated graphics and everything, these are great and worth it. You're not as much as going out and buying a new MacBook Pro, so forth and so on. So if there's a certain video card you'd like to see tested in these uh, eGPUs or set up, however, drop me a comment. Leave it in the notes. I usually respond very quickly. As always, guys, I thank you for watching. If you have any questions, like I said, ask away. And please subscribe.